Hey, hey everybody, it's Chris here. Uh, we're here back on the Hoffman Barn uh, place here in Red Hook, New York. I'm going to show you another brief look at the this one. Yeah, you cannot see that. It's very dark. Here is the... Here it is. This is a 1921 Victor VV300. This is a one of those humpback models, unlike the VV260. It has the exact same design, but it has the... You can see here's the nameplate right there. It says VV300. It's actually, this is from 1921. According to the emblem, you can tell it has a, a turntable. And here's your, this, there you can see, here's your, here's the turntable. But, yep, the platter, the mat looks pretty in good condition. And you can tell it says, please ask to play. You can tell if it's okay, but trying to give you a little demonstration here. This one has a, a tone arm. This is a Victrola number two tone arm. And uh, the reproducer looks okay, but the gasket looks looks good. I know the other models have the orthophonic one that actually, if you want to replace that, I'm not sure, you can use Victor Victrola number two. And it's got that nice looking needle. The, the steel needle looks pretty good. And you can tell it doesn't have an automatic shutoff, so you can turn on the record. So I'm not going to tell you the spring motor. The, yep, they also have a two spring. The four spring motor is inside, but I'm not going to take a look at the inside here. It plays a record like this. So um, this is what I'm going to do if you play the record. I'm not going to play the music. And there you go. I just want to give you a little a look at this thing, but I'm not going to play the music right now. So we would tell you just ask to play. And it's got that right there. There's a Batwing Victor that goes with the machine. And has very good eddy medley one step by Victor Military Band. Flip side is around the map medley Foxtrot. This is a 12 inch 78, and this is one of those Batwing Victors, if you got to love that one. And over here, it's got the horn for, for better volume. Well, it doesn't even have a volume control, but it only has the door for better volume. And you can tell the price is actually $279. That's another waste of money. I know there's no room. There's not enough room to fit in this thing because I just want to tell you. Well, yeah, there's actually the, the lid on top of it. it. Looks pretty good, including the Victrola emblem. There's your. There, it has the original decal still. It has, says Victrola, Victor Talking Machine Company. And there's the Nipper logo. Yep, this was the the uh, the decals was used probably between 1910 to 24. And. Uh, looks pretty nice and you can tell here's the door for um, record storage and of course a key lock so you can lock you can use a key to lock on there to see if these are two of them supports by these locks yep yeah, the other one's broken and there you go and now we're moving on to another record player another Victrola Here it is. This is a model VV11 from, um, you can tell, here it is. This is this is the Victor VV11 Victrola from around 1912, the same year as the Titanic sunk. It's possibly between 1911 and 1912 because this was the same year the, um, the Titanic just sunk. Yeah, if you've watched the movie Titanic, yeah, if you've ever seen it, it's a classic film with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio or whatever. Yep, it has, this is the most popular model, and you can tell it has the, the horn, it has a door where you can hear the volume, it acted as a horn, and a storage unit. It's very nice, and it's got... It's got the same tone arm reproducer. It's got the Victrola number two. Same thing. 
looks perfectly good, but this is actually, originally it was a tabletop model, but this one's actually a, a, a floor model instead of a tabletop originally. There's a similarities to this version. There was also a VV80, which is actually VV80 from about probably the 1950s. It used the same design. Um, remember back when Radio TV Phono and I did a video one time, did a video of that chopped, sawn half Victor Victrola originally was a floor model, was actually a table desktop model, but kind of like they just saw it in half. Now that's kind of ruined it. This is part of a history because this is this is all basic machine. It's got the keyhole, it's where you have it to lock it up after you finish playing it. You have to close the lid while after you finish playing it, you have to lock it with a key. And it's got the 12 inch 78 on here. Yep, and this one has. Sir Hamilton Hardy conducting the London Symphony Orchestra with Vols Tarth, Opus number 44. Flip side is March Military March, which is number Opus 51, number one. And, yep, same decals as the one shown in the VV300. There it is. This is one of those. And there you go. That was a look at the two original Victrolas the VV300 and the VV11. Hope you'll enjoy that and just to give you a little just a little peek to see what it is but hope you'll enjoy that as well so leave a comment below and uh, and uh, since I haven't done an MTN live video since then but I will do a live stream probably one time one day we'll do that sometime so thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.